So the question I get asked a lot is, as a business, how do we drive consistent sales through our marketing efforts? How do we make our marketing more of an asset rather than a liability? And, and that's fair enough. You know, marketing has changed so much in the last five years. In fact, it's changed more in the last five than the last 5,000 years. So the practices that were working five, six years ago just aren't working today. So before looking at your thought leadership, before looking at prospecting and reaching out to your clients, you actually need to know how your current marketing is performing, which sounds simple, but most of the people I speak to don't know how each channel's performing and how it's working for them. So there are three simple rules to making sure you know where you're at with your current marketing. So rule number one, is define what a marketing qualified lead is. We call it a sales qualified lead or SQL and make sure you know what it is. Is it based on the size of the company, the contact that you're dealing with, their level of engagement with your website and your collateral? So make sure you know what that is. The second thing, once you've just defined what a sales qualified lead is, is making sure you know your conversion rate from leads through each channel, so through Twitter, LinkedIn, email marketing, seminars, webinars and so on, through to your sales qualified lead. So that conversion rate is really important. Then once you have those numbers by channel, you can then start to work out what do we feel is realistic and start setting goals. So number three is set SMART goals, specific, measurable, actionable, realistic and timely to ensure that you're setting those goals on a quarterly or six monthly basis to achieve your sales objectives.